Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jim Ron, and today we're gonna try to figure out what in the world is Age of Darkness Final Stand. It is developed by Playside, and it is published by Team 17. And uh, the publisher is pretty much the only reason why I trust this to hopefully reach the completion of the development. It is on early access right now, and what they have in early access is fairly sublime, but what they have coming is definitely necessary, if not also very sublime in itself. Let's take a look at the option here real quick. We're gonna look at the settings. Uh, you have some display options, which is really nice. You have full ultra wide support, which is incredible. That's more I can say about many of the uh, of these India titles that are coming out recently, and uh, it's kind of quite sickening, honestly. But uh, it's definitely something I really appreciate here. You can scale the UI. I have it at 80%. The maximum I found was hiding too much of my screen. Uh, you got some V-Sync options, dynamic resolution, uh, frame rate maximum. You can choose which display uh, if you have multiple monitors. This is incredible work for uh, for a, an indie developer. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the post-processing here it is under one umbrella. I like to see that separated, but uh, we can't have everything. Hopefully, I am going to try to throw it in the suggestion back box on the feedback there, so... Uh, I, I hope that you do the same if you care about something like that. Other than that, the game runs at 120 FPS. Uh, nothing can cause this to uh, chug my computer. My GPU utilization is pretty low when I play this, and so is my CPU. But uh, let's go on the sound here. You have uh, different slider volumes for everything. It's incredible. Good job here. And controls, you can rebind everything you want, which also is really cool. Now, this is an early access. I looked at the roadmap, and uh, they, there are some things coming. They do promise more units, more heroes, and more stuff. They don't really go into much detail on what those things are. However, uh, it, it, what, what you have here leaves a lot to be desired. And uh, I'm going to play on easy because it's, it's fucking difficult. This game is really fucking difficult. Uh, I lost fairly quickly. I think I survived three nights. Yeah, so you're gonna have three heroes. Oh, well, there's one hero coming, and hopefully you're gonna have more than uh, these three, two right here. Uh, or more than three in general. And your hero is gonna be a respawning unit. If he dies, you're gonna lose some experience. And you do have some abilities. They are uh, acquired by leveling your hero up, and your hero levels up by killing monsters during the day or during the night. So this is how the game starts. So if you've played anything like uh, We Are Billions, you pretty much know what you're getting yourself into. So what you have to do first of all is gather some wood. And we're going to do that by placing our wood thing here, as you can see. Where you put it is crucial because that will determine how much wood it can acquire. So we're going to have to create some houses here. We can only do one because we have one four wood. Alright, these are the units you spawn with. I wish it zoomed out a little bit more, but this is okay, I suppose. And you're going to be using your units to kind of explore during the day. You can explore during the night once you have more units and they kind of level up as they kill enemies. So it's, it's important to level units up. But as of right now, you only have two types of units. You have a two different uh, melee units and then two different ranged units. One of them is a crossbow unit. The other one is a bow unit. We have the bow units. And the upgraded units are a lot slower than the non-upgraded units. But they are stronger. The The crossbowmen do a lot more damage. Keep that in mind. You may want to use them mostly for uh, defense. Uh, for exploration, you can use the faster, quicker uh, moving units. However, the problem with that is that you don't have much strength. And the population, after a certain point, kind of... Halts. So the way it works is you have population and then you have food rations, which they kind of work in balance. What I found myself doing was having to build houses to build uh, food income, to build houses to build food income. So when you build a house, you need obviously wood, but you also need gold and you also need f uh, food, right? Now, if you go into the uh, resources here, in order to create a food hut, you need one villager. But uh, to create the uh, more advanced ones, you need 1 to 2, and then two, 1 to 4. And uh, iron as well, which... It, uh... Yeah, it, it will... Oh, shit, I built a food hut here. We're gonna have to sell this. I'm such an idiot. 
Um, we need a lumber yard here. That's what we need. Uh, that fucked up, but that's okay because you know this this game is not easy. Yes. Yeah, so on my first playthrough, I found out that I had to actually balance. I had to build houses in order to build food uh, farms, in order to build houses, and a lot of the upgrade buildings, they require a lot more villagers, so the upgrade building for uh, researching new houses and everything, that requires like a lot more people here. So if you go into the advancement here, you can do a wood workshop, it needs 10 villagers, that's a lot of villagers when, uh, when you're being invaded at night. So on the top right corner here, you're going to see some of these dots. Right, the days last for a few minutes, and then so do the nights. During the nighttime, the enemy creatures here will be getting a lot more quicker. They're going to dish out a little bit more damage, which, uh, of course, that's normal. But when you explore during the night and you kill them, you gain more XP. And when you find the resource buildings to, uh, to unlock, then they give you a little bit more resources, which is really nice. Now, can I build this? No, I need 15 wood. I may have to build another lumber yard but it's not yeah i'm gonna have to start exploring here soon and another way to explore your to increase your vision is by doing one of these things and uh that is a fire it's a fire uh scones scones and then this is a fire tower basically to increase your vision and when the nightmare completes so back to this one when when these Nights come uh, after four days, you're gonna have a rush of uh, enemy units coming towards your base. They will fuck you up, they are high in numbers. So, there needs to be a little bit of balancing because having all the buildings standing and uh, not demolishing anything to get some of your uh, population back in order to create more uh, units, you're not gonna have enough numbers to defend yourself. It, it just gets really quickly really difficult that's definitely something to be aware of i have found that you cannot stop um expanding your base and building defenses and and more importantly you have to build defenses that don't require a lot of uh, manpower so there are some automated Towers, some ballista towers that you can build that attack multiple enemies at once, and some flaming towers. They do require population. So the ballista tower, I believe, requires five population, if I'm not mistaken. And that could very well be units that can you can be using to defend your town. But again, the same can be argued about the units that will be manning those uh, those ballistas. So yeah, it's it's a conundrum sometimes. I'll admit, it's not easy to play. It's not an easy play. It's, it's an easy pl game to play, but a very difficult game to master. And that is 100% for sure. So it's going to build a few more houses. Uh, the nice thing about this is when you upgrade the more ho more houses, you do the lodge here and then the house, you can just upgrade your existing buildings. You don't have to build a new one. However, you're not saving anything on resources if you upgrade versus building. Uh, just keep that in mind. I can just upgrade this unit and I will have spent eventually the same amount of resources as building and upgrading a new house. So what I need to do is eventually build this quarry here so I can start collecting some stone and uh, I can build more fires and more importantly here's your defense screen so as you can see during the daytime you can see what you've explored but it's still not visible. You have base wall, you have braced wall, and then you have fortified wall. You can unlock all of these by building the uh, advancement stuff. So you have the wood workshop, you have a storehouse. Once you have researched everything on the wood workshop, you can very well just delete that building and uh, reclaim your population as well as your resources. Some of the resources at least that you spent on it. Looks like I have enough to build a quarry here, so I'm going to do just that. Start building some stone, which is really cool. I will be building some walls here. So let's see, so, ah, I don't have any wood. Okay, cool. Uh, in that case, I will be building some lumber yards. Can I build some lumber yards? Yes, I can, because it only needs, uh, let's see, gold. I'm just going to build it there. I don't have enough people, so eventually I'm going to have to build some houses, and that is exactly what I'm going to do 
right now. Now, another thing that you have to keep a, a big eye on is where you place these buildings because they will block your unit's paths. Well, my first playthrough, I ran into this issue where I uh, I accidentally blocked off a big part of the of the of the pathway into the other side of the town with my warehouse, so all my units had to go around the back. It was painful. It was not a fun thing to watch. It was definitely a fuck up on my end. So just uh, make sure you avoid that that mistake. Uh, let's see. We built this. We're gonna have a lot more wood coming in right now. We have some stone. So the way you collect minerals, uh, stone, and iron is through these veins here on the ground. As you can see, this is a stone vein. This is another stone vein. The iron vein looks a little bit more blue. It is important, however, now to start building some defenses. So we're just going to build this, some walls here, and then I'm going to have to do a gate. And then I'm going to do a tower right about here. It's also important not to block the gate with any buildings because you guessed it, you're not going to be able to get out. Alright, let's see. I need to do a training hall to build more units. Uh, I am going to have to block this off here as well, just have to create, just generate a little bit more wood. I think also, it's important to not worry about closing down huge areas here, uh, but it is important to have a big enough area to build defenses around it. So like, this is kind of a nice choke point, I can just leave my units here or build a wall, whatever I want to do. If I built a wall here, it's going to be nice because I'll have a lot of defenses around it. But this, this is left exposed. What I can do potentially is build a wall here and then keep using this for resources and build another wall here. And You're going to have to have several layers of defense, certainly, because otherwise you're just going to get fucked. There's no ifs, whats, or buts about it. These things are going to come in, they're just going to butt fuck you, and they're just going to leave, and they're going to be happy you came. You're not going to be happy they came. They'll definitely have come. For sure, so yeah, do whatever you want with that information. I need more wood here to get more soldiers, which is fine. Um, these towers here, obviously, they're not going to do shit unless you put some archers in them. So I'm going to put an archer in there, and uh, you're going to see the vision grow, which was really good. The upgraded archers, oh, here we go, going to be under attack soon here. The upgraded archers do have a much bigger range and much more damage. However, their attack speed is abysmally uh, slow. So you have to you have to be careful how you use them. I'm gonna pause for now. I'm gonna keep playing and I'm gonna make some more defenses. I'm just gonna wait until the first nightmare day so I can show you what that looks like. Uh, we're gonna have some fun watching me get annihilated. I bet. So yeah, let's let's just see how that goes. Attack. I from the ashes. I'm on it. Got something for me? Dark encroaches. I am here. I serve. I 
I stand prepared. Ready to face the dark. Onward! from the ashes. The light burns strong. Right. I step towards the abyss. We stand in defiance. We shall not waver. Get on with it. Yeah. Got something for me? As you wish. Ready for action. I serve. Again. All right, I'm going. Our defenses are under attack. Tear them apart. I am here. Ah! <laughs> 
from the ashes. I stand prepared. Ready. If I must. Archer ready. Make way. Archer ready. Ready to face the dark. I'm ready. The light burns strong. Right. What is it? Aye.
from the ashes. Moving out. I stand prepared. What now? Tracking. We stand in defiance. Get on with it. I serve. Archer ready. Our buildings are under attack. Speak. Huh? I step towards the abyss. The light burns strong. Complete. Archer ready. I stand prepared. I am here. Proceed with purpose. We stand in defiance. Alright, so I've been uh, building my base a little bit and I've been getting attacked here. Um, gonna hit the all repair button. So this is one of the crystals here. We're getting ready for the horde to come fuck me in the ass a little bit once uh, night falls. Uh, Rocky, stop fucking with it. You have uh, about four minutes to build up your resources, and the night that it comes up, it's it's kind of good because you know that it's coming from this side. So. What I've done so far is I've built this research place here. I'm going to research the braced walls and I'm going to research the fire scones, scones or whatever. I'm going to move one more unit into this tower. Since I know they're going to be coming through this here, it's good because I can I know to upgrade my tower, my walls here. I can build some more towers. So I'm going to build uh, uh I want to unlock the ballista uh, which is here, but I think that's a research. Yeah So it's the ballista tower. Uh, I am also going to get some farms up in here, which is good. All right, let's get some uh, Towers going so we're gonna do this one. I'm gonna do this one and I do have uh, Two archers. I'm gonna need two more so I don't have enough gold, which is fine. Everything is fine Don't panic. We only have two minutes, but I have uh, researched houses, so we're going to upgrade this. And uh, uh, I also researched farms, I believe. So I'm going to upgrade the farm. Oh, yeah, that's, I haven't researched it yet. Okay. Got plenty of wood, though. I did also build a warehouse here, which is kind of nice. It, uh, the warehouse increases the maximum gold and maximum resource you can hold. You better fucking believe you're going to need any of that that you can handle. Do I need a gate yet? No, I did not. All right, so... What finished building? I don't know. Okay, tower. Yeah, this thing right here. Cool. So I can pull one of these archers, but I do still get attacked from... Uh, oh, this one doesn't even have an archer. I do still get attacked from the back there, so I'm going to need to keep them where they're at. Archers do need the stone for some reason, and soldiers need wood. That doesn't really make much sense, but... Um, 
to upgrade this, I need stone, so I am going to be upgrading all of this. What kind of sucks right now is I can't rotate the camera. I don't know if there's like a hotkey that I haven't discovered yet, but that is a problem. What is also a problem is my cat being a fucking idiot. Hey! And messing with my stuff, so... Alright. We got two archers here, no archers here. Uh, I have one archer to put in here, which is cool. And I'm building one more archer. Where did this archer come from? That's interesting. Okay. Hey! Seriously, man. Chill. I am running out of gold, though, so I will be doing the braced gate here. Should I be doing more walls? That's, that's the question to ask here. I don't know. I can't upgrade my houses, though, which is good. Um, can I upgrade these yet? No, I cannot. What am I researching now? Oh, I think I just did the gate. No, the fire. Okay. Yeah, let's do, let's do the fire, even though we don't have enough stone. I'm just going to put the fire here. Increase the visibility. This should be good. Um, yeah, so 20 more seconds, and we're going to find out if this... Horde is gonna hoard us up. I'm gonna send this guy here since there's no defender. I'm gonna have all my melee units hopefully try to go up to the gate and pull some of the units in and kind of fight them our way here. So, alrighty. Let's get these farms upgraded so I can get more food, so I can build more houses, so I can get more food, so I can build more houses. Yes, there is a negative effect going on. 10% chance for trained military units to uh, come out as a nightmare. Oh, yeah, so... 1 out of 10 units you uh, train are going to come out as the evil people. That's fun. I should be fine. As long as I can upgrade my gate on time. Alright, so... I did realize that the food hut cannot be upgraded to a farm, so I'm gonna have to sell this. I'm gonna have to actually go and build the farm anew. 25, 25, can I have, uh, I think 25 is the number to beat, and we cannot beat it. Here comes the nightmare, it's almost here. I'm kind of scared that I only have one, but it's only 94 units, that, that should be no match really. I really wish I did have my upgraded gate though, but can't. Oh, from oh that guy, like my tower cannot even see him. All right, I'm gonna send. Shit. Okay. That's unfortunate, but okay. So it looks like we're holding our own here. Oh, they're splitting up. Fuck. Okay, that's not good. Alrighty, let's uh, start killing people. I can't quite repair anything yet, but some units may die. This is nothing, really. This uh, this actually seems a little bit suspiciously too easy. Because I got this these archers helping me here. And then I got my melee units. I got my upgraded, tower, my upgraded walls, which is cool. I'm going to pull back a little bit, let my archers finish them off. And I am going to build... I'm going to repair them, I guess. Alright, this almost made it. I need to go and uh, deal with these fuckers here. Oh, okay, never mind. Alright, and then when you survive the Nightmare Night, you get to choose a bonus. So, your this one is kind of helpful. That's the one I picked the first time. Champion uh, gains twice as much experience. All new buildings cost 15% less to produce. This is amazing. All construction times are 15% faster. These are really both good. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one for the cheaper buildings. Because uh, they do get a little bit more expensive gradually. So, yeah, I'm going to have to demolish this one and build it over there. So they can actually attack these units that are coming from the top. However, this is the game. This is it. And I personally fucking love it. I am a sucker for these types of games. Absolutely am. Uh, obviously, there's strategies like double walls. You can do double walls if, if you want to. But, um, yes, as you can see, though... Um, can I resume? Okay, yeah. Oh, is F1 or... Yeah, F1 is to select all your units. That's cool. 
As you can see though, you only have four different types of units you can choose from. You have some research here, which is really nice. However, um, there are more things coming. And that's, that's good, because the game definitely does need more things. It's not complete yet, not by any stretch. And uh, hopefully the developers keep up the good work and Team 17 can kind of nudge them in the right direction not to give up. I trust Team 17 that they wouldn't have picked this up to publish it if they didn't have faith in the in the developers. So, yeah, this this is the game. The final stand. I, I love it. This is a better version of... Of the, uh, I was going to save this here because I don't want to lose. Go to the main menu because I don't want to spend another, spend another two and a half hours in one sitting. So this is Age of Darkness Final Stand. It releases hopefully soon, but it's still on early access. Uh, Playset is the developer. Team uh, 17 is the publisher. Good early access so far. Can't wait to see what else is coming up and... Give a little bit more of a re a little bit more of a refined and accurate opinion on what I think about this game once it finally releases. But I will definitely keep fucking playing this because this is awesome. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.